Hallelujah. I praise God for that song. It is so uplifting. I am God. Amen. We have to recognize God in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah for another day. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to come before your people, Lord Jesus, to speak your words. Hallelujah. Your words, Heavenly Father, not mine. Glory to God. Your word is truth. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for the words that you have given me for your people this day, Lord Jesus. I'm asking that you bless these lips of clay that they will say no more or no less than you would have them to say this day, Lord Jesus. Bless the hearers of the word, Lord Jesus, that the word will penetrate their spirits and souls. Oh God, oh God, that we'll grow in grace as our sister Robin so beautifully read to us today. We need to grow in your grace. For it is in Jesus' name I do pray and I do say amen, amen, and amen. I give God a hand praise, amen, for his goodness today. I thank God for you today, saints. I thank God because God is God. Hallelujah. Amen. Give an honor to the spirit of Christ who is the head of my life. I thank God for one day saving my pitiful soul, <laughs> saving me from sin. Hallelujah. He saved me. I didn't even know I needed saving. He saved my soul. And I praise God for that today. I give honor to our honorees today, Pastor and Co-Pastor Gamble. My God. 42 years pastoring God's people. I give honor to you and I thank God for you being in my life. Amen. You have been a powerful, powerful inspiration. You, the gambles, the gambles, the, well, she's uh, Cooper now, Cooper, and of course the Burns. Amen. I thank God you were there in the beginning of when the Lord called me from my sins. And I thank God for each of you. I praise God for every one of you that is on the line today in my hearing. I thank God for you. I thank God because we are family. Uh, there was a song they sung in the world. We are family. I got all my brothers and sisters with me. Hallelujah. We are family. And I thank God because we are in the family of God. And I love each and every one of you. Amen. And I ask that you pray for me today. The Lord gave me a word and I want to speak it as the Lord gave it to me. Uh, the theme of this anniversary, this 42nd pastor and wife anniversary is we need the truth. Amen. And our evangelist, uh, Denise is, uh, uh, Johnson, this is a beautiful, beautiful theme. And you came from um, the theme scripture is uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, the ninth and 10th verse. And it says, and moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge, my Lord, yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. My Lord Jesus, you hear that? Acceptable words. Hallelujah. And that which was written was upright, even words of truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Burns, that was a beautiful uh, compliment <laughs> you gave me to say you could see my mother in me. Ah, oh, that, oh, a woman that I esteem to the highest. I thank you for that compliment. That is so beautiful. And you all know I lost my mother at the tender age of 17. My mother passed away at the age of 17. But the important thing about that is she was saved, sanctified, and 
filled with the Holy Ghost. The Lord saved us two years prior to her death. And it was just God's timing is so beautiful. We got in just in time. Hallelujah. And I praise God for that. I praise God for that. I just had to put that in there. Thank you so much. So my theme or topic today, my topic is, can you handle truth? Can you handle truth? So my first question to you is, what is truth? In John 14 and 6, it says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Hallelujah. You can't get to the Father unless you come through the Son. Hallelujah. And you come, you're coming through the way. He's, he's going to show us the way. He is the truth. Jesus is truth, hallelujah, and he's life, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is a movie starring Jack Nicholson called A Few Good Men. In this movie, he is quoted as saying, you can't handle the truth. What a powerful statement. When I heard that, I said, wow, that is a powerful statement. You can't handle the truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do we recognize the truth? Glory to God. When we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, we accept truth. Glory. Jesus said in John the eighth chapter, the 31st and 32nd verse, then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. But you got to continue in the word, glory to God. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. So you got to get to know truth. And who is truth? Jesus Christ. That's what truth is. Hallelujah. 42 years of leading God's people, you have spoken the truth of the gospel to many souls. 42 years, that's a lifetime for some people. You have been spreading and preaching the gospel, the word of God. You have been preaching the truth. Glory to God. Paul said in Romans, the ninth chapter and the first verse, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Paul was saying, and you say, Pastor and Sister Gamble, I speak the truth. Hallelujah. I speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Leaving God's people is all about truth. Again, I ask the question, what is truth? Glory to God. According to my Bible dictionary, truth is correspondence of the known facts of existence with the total sum of God's universe. Hallelujah. May be known by general and special revelation but only so much as God chooses to reveal. God has made known all that man needs to know for life 
and salvation. Truth is manifested supremely in Christ. Hallelujah. That's what my Bible dictionary says about truth. In John, the first chapter in the 14th verse, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father. Hallelujah. Full of grace and truth. You drop down to that 17th verse, it says, For the law was given by Moses. The law was given by Moses. That is an important part of that verse. The law was given by Moses. Who gave it to Moses? <laughs> God did. Glory to God. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those who turn away from him, from Jesus, choose to live in error. They choose to live in sin. Those that reject Jesus Christ that reject, reject the truth, they choose it. It's your choice. It's our choice. God has given us the opportunity to choose whether we want to live in truth. Glory to God. God has called you, Pastor Robert and First Lady Terry Gamble, with a holy calling. He called you with a holy calling. 42 years ago. Glory to God. Jeremiah 3 and 15 says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The pastors feed you the word. Hallelujah. They feed you the word of God. That is a heavy responsibility. And you've been doing it for 42 years. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The pastor takes care of the flock of God. They teach them the word of God, the truth of the gospel. Glory to God. John 10 verse 7 to 9 says, then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily. Now, some translations uh, uh, translate that truly, truly. Hallelujah. I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Hi, yeah, yeah. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Hallelujah. You know, pasture is where the sheep graze in the meadow in the field and we find our pasture in the word of God through the pastor. Glory to God. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are good shepherds, Pastor and First Lady Gamble, over God's people. You have dedicated your lives to feeding God's sheep or his people. And great is your reward 
in heaven for all the sacrifices you have made down through the years. 42 years. Hallelujah. I marvel at that. Glory to God. Romans, the 15th chapter, the 7th through the 13th verse. See, when I preach, I preach the word of God. Hallelujah. I am speaking God's word. Hallelujah. See, this is what your pastor does. He feeds you the word of God. So you can never get too full of the word of God. Have you ever sitting down at the table, you know, at dinner time and you, your eyes, my, my, my parents used to say, your eyes is bigger than your belly because you put too much food on the plate and you have a hard time eating it. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. This is funny. Uh, we we uh, we lived. Uh, I went to school ten, and I was in uh, grade school. I think I was like in the fifth or sixth grade, and we would come home for lunch. And so, when we came home, I wanted um, pork and beans. And so my father, uh, he worked the swing shift, so he was up. You know. Uh, doing things at, at that at, in the kitchen, you know. My mom, she worked a graveyard shift, and so she would be asleep during the day. But my father was up around in the kitchen, and he would fix our lunch when we would come home for lunch. So I wanted pork and beans. I, I was just determined I was going to have these pork and beans, you know. That day I wanted pork and beans. So my father made the pork and beans. And he put the pork and beans, he, he gave me the whole can. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. It's so funny now when I think about it. <laughs> so I start eating these pork and beans. And I got the whole can. And I got full. I got full. I, I was so full. And it was like that family uh size can of pork and beans you know my father didn't want to open up that can because i was the only one who wanted these beans okay so you you sure that's what you want yes i want pork and beans my father gave me that whole can of pork and beans and uh i don't think i got halfway through that can of pork and beans my stomach was so tight and i couldn't eat and so i went to get up you know, from the table, my father said, sit down. I asked you, did you, or were you sure you wanted those beans? Now eat them. And I was late getting back to school because my father made me eat every last one of those pork and beans. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurt. I was sick. All the rest of the day, I was so sick because I had to eat that whole can of beans. He said, your eyes is bigger than your belly. Hallelujah. But you can never have eyes bigger than your belly in the word of God. You can never, that can never happen to you. Glory to God. You just keep feeding on the word of God. It, because when you feed on the word of God, it helps you grow, grow in that grace that our sister Robin was talking about. You feed on the word of God. The pastor feeds you the word. Hallelujah. And if you eat the steady diet of the word of God through the pastor, you will grow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So Romans 15, 7 to 13. Wherefore, receive ye one another as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, our forefathers in in the talking about Abraham and all the Isaac and Jacob and what have you, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. 
And again, he said, rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. Glory to God. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles. And loud him, all oh, ye people. Hallelujah. We are the Gentiles. Glory to God. And again, Isaiah said, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. Hallelujah. Now the God of hope fill you, hallelujah, with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. I thank God because we abound. Hallelujah. The door was open for us. Glory to God. We, we had the opportunity, the children of, of the blessing that, that was promised to them, they rejected they rejected Jesus. And because of their rejection, the door was opened wide for all of us. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus, through truth. Glory to God. Jesus prayed for us in the garden on this wide. In John, the 17th chapter, the 13th to the 20th verse. But that whole chapter, Jesus is praying. So I'm, I'm just going to read 13 to 20. And now come I to thee. This is Jesus praying to the Father. Hallelujah. And these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Yes, sir. I have given them thy word. Hallelujah. Isn't that what the pastor does? Give us his word. Glory to God. And the world have hated them. Hallelujah. Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, Hallelujah. But that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Hallelujah. God, Jesus was praying for us in that garden, along with his disciples. Hallelujah. He, we are included in this prayer. Do you see that? Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Hallelujah. Thy word is truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Hallelujah. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Neither pray I for these alone. Jesus is letting God know I'm not just praying for my disciples. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also. We are the them also, which shall believe on me through their words. Hallelujah. He's blessing us through the words that pastor and co-pastors speak to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's you, pastor and co-pastor Gamble. That's you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Leading God's people to eternal life through teaching the truth of the gospel to every living soul that will hear you. Glory to God. Not only are you examples of do as I say, but do as I do. That's the example that you set before God's people. You can handle the truth and you teach others by example. 
to live in truth. Can you handle the truth? <laughs> I thank God for the word. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Don't forget, you can help us continue to spread the good news by subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's PIBC, Pentecost Inspirational Baptist Church. Like, follow, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week.